Sad and I are going to make in sable. It's kind of like a shortbread type dough. And we're gonna already prepare the egg white. We're just gonna use the egg white. Now there are different ways to make shortbread dough, but this is just one of them. All right, we're gonna put the egg yolk here. We'll be able to use it for something else, but for this recipe, we're just going to use the egg white. Now this dough can definitely be done by hand, but we're gonna use our mixer. Uh, first of all, I'm going to really whisk the butter. This is unsalted butter, until it becomes nice and foamy. Let me turn it off a second and we're going to clean the edges to make sure that everything gets nicely whisked together. Let's whisk it some more. Now to this, we're going to add some vanilla, a nice pinch of salt, about a teaspoon of lemon juice, and I'm putting my hand here just to catch the seeds. Slowly, we're gonna start adding sugar a bit at a time. Now that all the sugar has been incorporated, we are also going to add our egg white. At this point, we're going to switch. We're taking the whisk off. Now we could totally do this by hand on the table, but today I'm going to be lazy and we'll do it all with the machine. So we're gonna use this little flour sifter and sift all the flour right into the butter and sugar. All the flour has been sifted in and then here is just a little bit that is left over still in our bowl. Now we're going to attach the dough hook and bring this together as quickly as possible. All right, it has quickly come together and we're going to put it on our work surface this out of the way and quickly put all the dry ingredients in with the wet ingredients and you see this is why it's called sable because it kind of looks like it has the resemblance of sand. I'm going to bring it in with the help of this rubber spatula which is a great little tool to have. One thing you can also do is to kind of rub it out like this, just to make sure that it's nice and homogeneous. There, this is how quickly it comes together. Now we're gonna kind of flatten it out into a round shape. It's totally okay to just use a little extra flour. And in Italian, there is a saying, di lavarsi le mani, to actually wash your hands um, with some flour to get all the dough off. And now we're going to bring it all together, shape it into a sphere, and then in the fridge it goes to rest and get nice and firm. Check out this gorgeous dough. Now we're going to lift it off of here and put it into some plastic wrap. And the reason I already rolled it out into this nice round shape because it's going to be easier later on to roll it out for whatever recipe we're going to use it for. And then once again, right here, nicely covered up and in the refrigerator it goes.